Instead of growing plants in big horizontal fields, you grow them in racks stacked on top of each other. Basically, do for farming what high-rise apartment buildings did for housing. Growing plants in towers gives you a lot more production for your footprint. It solves other problems, too. Moving plants indoors means they're not at the mercy of weather and other environmental factors like, say, drought or smog. We don't need to convert more wilderness to extensive farmland, and it better controls runoff of fertilizers and pesticides into waterways. Hydroponics is one way to grow plants indoors, meaning the roots sit in nutrient-rich water. No dirt! As a bonus, that actually reduces water use. One study found that hydroponics produced more lettuce with 90% less water. There's also aeroponics, where the roots get sprayed with a mist of that nutrient-laden water. Aeroponics uses 70% less water than hydroponics. However, you need more than water to grow plants indoors. When it comes to vertical farming, the energy use can be much greater than horizontal farming. Climate control systems, including air circulation, water pumps, and sensors, all require electricity. The main goal of Nature House is to offer a smart home covering three aspects, material, energy, and eco-cycle of water and nutrients. Here is how it works. The house is surrounded by a climate shell. The glass house functions as a solar collector, creating a Mediterranean microclimate within the building and protects the living space and crops from weather conditions. The shell responds to the weather by using automated windows that can be opened and closed to maintain a suitable temperature. The plantation in the climate shell provides clean air, shade, fruit and vegetables with an extended harvest period.